Hello everyone and welcome to episode 3 of Pyrian Adventure. I am Legendario and you are witnessing a huge build uh, that is uh, Epic Universe inspired. Um, this park will consist of three lands. Um, generally, um, I would do more but you know there will be only three so I can be, you know, have a more immersive experience for you all. Uh, so with the intro out the way, let's uh, continue on. So, as you can see, we have a new video layout. Not not too much is going on that's new, but if you can see at the top and the bottom, um, there's new uh, overlays. So at the top corner, uh, the um, the logo, my logo, and then the Pyrian Adventure logo fades in and out, and they switch between each other pretty frequently, like every two seconds. So, or every five seconds, something like that. It, it, you get you get the point, you see it throughout. It's gonna do that from now on. Um, I, I think that's a little nice touch. And then at the top and bottom, there is the, uh, you know, f fluorescent overlay that I have added to, you know, my videos. So, this video, uh, with that out the way, this video is, woo, pretty long. Um, this is one of the longer videos. I think we have 26 minutes, 29 minutes, something like that. It's in the higher 20s, upper 20s. So, um, and uh, with the with that being how long it is, we have a lot to discuss. So, um, you know, but keep you occupied. I'll keep you occupied. You know, the entire time because you know I'm good at that. You know. So uh, let's see. Let's start off with um, the monorail and the rocks. So. As you can see now, I kind of stopped building really quickly. Um, but as you can see, we have started, you know, building rocks and everything. Uh, as you can see uh, from the intro and everything. So those rocks are a continuation of what I've done previously. And so basically, um, I've, you know, uh, I mentioned this last episode, I think. Uh, or ep maybe episode one, depending. Uh, I'm really not sure. But, you know, I was talking about how I wanted there to be a more immersive uh, experience of how the entrance will be uh, the, with the grand reveal. So basically, the monorail and the rocks are more hidden now um, as I wanted there to be a, a no set, you know, you know, knowledge right when you enter the park that there is a monorail there. I want you to be uh, when you get there you're like oh my god there's a monorail uh, it's like it, it's, it'll be so cool i just don't know i don't know how to understand it this whole park is so cool to me and i'm really really proud of myself because this is nowhere near anything that i built before my last park was jurassic world of discovery and i literally built that this is this is completely different like <laughs> i mean a milestone's different so i mean it's really really interesting of how i'm actually uh, building this park simply because i don't have no uh no sets you know, uh, layout, because as I mentioned earlier, um, in, in past episodes, I have no thought of what this park is going to be. Literally, I know what I would generally want it to look like, but those little small things that you need to know, like park layout wise, I really don't have an idea for it. And I'm thinking that I just need to take a minute and plan out what I want the park to look like, uh, inevitably. Um, so it's like, I just, mm, it's just, it's going to take some time. I just know that, but while we're waiting on that time to happen, you know, here are some things that you may want to know so far. So the foliage at the entrance that we're, uh, that you see right now, uh, I wanted those kind of be a continuation of the rocks. So, you know, I wanted that to kind of be a set point throughout the all of, all of the lands and in, in, in the entire park is rock work. Um, I did rock work with Jurassic World of Discovery and rock work is usually a strong suit for me. And this is a different kind of rock work. Um, there will be no like huge mountain in the back or whatever, you know, there will be none of that. It will be all immersive. Uh, I don't want there to be, uh, I don't want the park to be built up too high. So, uh, so it seems like it's so one thing is overshadowing overshadowing everything else sorry for my english um so um i really really just am speculating of what is going on right now right so basically i decided that i'm going to do trees right so but how can i do those trees right 
well recently i decided that i'm going to sit down and make me some trees and these are not like just regular plain old trees that you find in the game like i just built earlier but i'm th th i'm talking about like custom trees you know like full custom trees and it will be Mm, pretty big they would be pretty big because I don't want you to see everything uh, necessarily so that greenery will be like a kind of a breaking point between what you see and what you don't see as uh, that's also as well as with the rocks and so it's kind of like a, a continuation of the same the same empowerment of what I'm trying to embody here uh, and the same things that uh, what I'm trying to accomplish so inevitably it will all works out at the end which I I know it's gonna happen so um, so far, um, let's see, um, what's currently happening, um, so we're working on foliage. Um, basically, this area, um, I mentioned in episode one that I'm gonna have accessibility for people with wheelchairs. Well, I have not stood my ground because I did not, I failed to realize that actually building that, when I was gonna be building it was in this episode, so I kept on preparing y'all for like these ramps. I kept mentioning these ramps, these ramps that are gonna be made, and they never, they never came in the in the last two episodes. So here we are, episode three, and you know, here they are. Um, firstly, what I wanted to start on was the foliage on top of here. Originally, this was just gonna be like an empty platform, but I was like, well, there's a, a little, you know, foliage area right here, so why not connect it, and you know, it will be, you know just one big foliage uh, area and there will be some trees and stuff I also I also add rocks up there too but currently what you see right now is me finally building these ramps so I wanted to kind of do start off with a curved ramp um, and I did not know how to do that but I figured out a way how in my mind necessarily and I'm going to see if my mind is telling me the correct way so what I'm thinking that that could work is I could just build it up and just use uh, the the 11.25 you know rotation or the or the next one I don't know the number 25 and I can just simply you know how can I say I can simply just rotate it and then in the center of all the like the space that's in between I can put a triangle and then incline that like at the same time so it would like connect i'm hoping that that's that that will work i don't know where i could i could use that method at but <laughs> i just if if i ever get around to doing that then i would so uh currently i'm not building right now but i i really don't know why i edited this before i did the voiceovers but i should that means i should be building if i didn't edit it out but basically uh to catch you up really quickly um this entrance area well not this entry entrance area this ramp area is going to transition into uh there's a little opening down there and in that opening there is going to be a uh um there's an opening down there and uh that will be you know lead to the actual hub area where the globe is and everything so that's where that will be and that's where it leads to so it's all you know all leads to the same general area uh, as it needs to because you know it's the interest area that was kind of obvious I don't know why I mentioned that but I just did <laughs> so um basically what's going on right now is we are starting on the awning I know right I know right such 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 interesting uh information um but the awning area is literally something I came up with in my mind I was like what could be over here that's you know it's grand but it won't overshadow everything else and i was like make a glass awning <laughs> like i don't know why i came up with this idea in my head but i was like sure let's just do that and stick with it so here i am building the walls for it uh, also there will be like little uh, designs inside of the walls like that would be poking out of the walls you'll see you'll see them built uh in just a minute or uh in just a second right here will be the entrance to the station to the monorail uh you won't really see much behind here it'll be like a little an enclosed area i believe or a little plaza on the other side maybe maybe i don't know i'm it's that area is really not thought of at all so i literally just put a sign there and i'll come back to it later at a later date because i literally do not know what i need to put there 
like literally at all so i mean mm, we'll we'll decide if you have any ideas uh then i'll put them in it's not gonna be entrance to the atlantis area well atlantica area let me let me let me get that straight you know um but here we are uh like i said earlier uh putting the rock little formations from disneyland paris uh in the space in the in their you know tomorrowland section or i don't i don't think it's called tomorrowland it may be called tomorrowland but i wanted to do that around the around the uh, monorail you know the monorail plays a big part inside of the park transportation wise because you know if you want to go to one area of the park then uh or if you're at one area of the park and you want to get to another area and you don't want to walk you could take the monorail you now the monorail it doesn't cost you anything or anything like that like you just get on it and you go now it will make multiple stops the train station will be part of the facade at the end of the amphitheater. So where you enter the amphitheater is where the train station will be. So what I mean um, is that the train station will be incorporated into the facade of the entrance of the, uh, of the amphitheater, if that makes sense. Um, I literally thought that that would be a great idea. So you could either enter the amphitheater or you could go to the uh train station and i think that would be a good contrast uh, it'll be a great visual as well um so basically there will be multiple stops there will be uh the hub uh the hub area um there will be two hub train stations one will be most likely where the entrance was that i just showed you that i built and then i put the period adventure sign there because i didn't know what's put there now that i'm thinking about it it probably will most likely be the entrance to the train station over there that will be that will be uh connected to the um going inside of the atlantica area now because this entrance train station will be so close to the atlantica area um area the the other the train station for the monorail going inside of the um atlantic area will be near um the back so that's how that will be but there will be also one in the other two lands as well as and then plus the one that i said at the front of the facade so now we are here at the uh next area which will be the that well not next area but we're back at the entrance very very front uh pathway to the park uh, this will be a time lapse of basically me placing all of these, um, the little uh, orbs down or the the light the lights put the lights down, um, and then after this next transition, I'll do I'll start the the uh, speed uh, speed ramp of sequencing. So basically, I wanted this to have a little more pizzazz to it, so. I started doing sequencing and so this is what it literally looks like uh just sped up um i wanted to originally i planned on you know just cutting this part out but once i started editing i was like maybe i should just you know speed it up and then just let them see it uh, because you know it'll be a waste for me to just delete it because uh, some people enjoy looking at sequencing but a majority of people don't so for the people that do i'll just speed it up for you so i, I wanted to do that for the area and so I wanted there to be kind of a little bit more, it, it, it felt like a little dead, even though it was nice. I wanted there to be a little bit of light uh, solution. So that's what I did there. So now we are back. Uh, normally we are going back to the awning area. Um, I'm starting on the, the little details that are on the, um, on the wall, the bottom half of the wall. Um, this will be going by, this will go by very quickly because once you build one of them, I just copied and paste, you know, uh, pivoted, uh, that's what, that's basically our copy and paste right now is pivoting. Uh, I used a pivot tool method and, you know, just, you know, kind of shifted them, uh, rotated them along the wall. Um, so I got this design, um, from my brain. <laughs> I was like, what this was like. And so I did it. And so, yeah. 
the awning took me quite a while i must say because i literally uh you know i didn't know what i wanted to look like as i said earlier like i literally came up with this in like a, a matter of a second so i didn't want to mess it up um and you know it would be I, I would be more prone to mess it up simply because of the fact that it's like humongous uh but it's not too humongous to where it's overshadowing everything but it's noticeable very very noticeable and it kind of stands out in, in its own way uh that's why i want foliage there so it can kind of hide all that uh airiness ness 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 right um and you know simply define the area a little bit more because it's kind of big and if i added a little bit more planters and trees then it would kind of hide it in a way that it's not too overpowering of the entrance because the entrance i don't know what it looks like as of the time i'm recording this uh i literally have not started episode four yet um which is on the same day that i'm uh voice overing all of these other videos uh episode one two and this one uh on february 16th so next episode will be you know more recent as 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 not really because episode four will come out in like two weeks as the time i'm recording this like the week after next week so i mean it's just wonders of you know what exactly i have to do now i know for a fact that i will be like ahead because i am really happy excited to build this park so i know i'm gonna build so i'm gonna have like episodes already ready probably a month in advance so i really don't have to worry about uploading things uh the only thing that i have to worry about is getting it uploaded to youtube studio uh and then have a description edit the um what what's it called the thumbnail and such like that and so i mean i just it's it's gonna be quite interesting to see how i how i do this because i need to I've never had a upload schedule and now that I'm doing this series and actually becoming a more regular prone with my content I'm gonna have to so well um this area was kind of grand in a way it was I didn't over overly build it it was in the perimeter that I wanted it to be built in because as you can see I kind of mapped out uh, off camera I think I think I also this was here the the you know the ground markings are there in episode two I, I probably just didn't go over it but you know here we are uh i stayed in the area that i wanted to stay in so you know that was good um in in total you know i i really like the way that this turned out there will be lights at the top they won't be sequenced because there's no reason to but that will be very interesting to see and how it will all unfold Un unfold what what unfold i don't know if i mispronounce that but anyways basically now um i want to briefly go over what's going to happen in um next uh what to expect in uh the next video so basically um next video or next episode we will finally and i mean finally uh get to working on coloring and the actual entrance now there will be you know more you know uh general building aspects that will be you know featured in the video or, or the episode which will be um most likely you know you know final details or whatever but 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 what i may end up doing is just building the entrance area you know get that out the way but not out the way that sounds kind of bad uh i want to get that you know foundation uh and you know place so i can you know wrap it up i don't because i'm not saying that in in the fact that i'm trying to hurry up and get this done i mean i'm trying to uh you know i don't want to add too much so i want there to be just enough but i also don't want there to be too little so if i get the entrance area that will kind of enclose the entrance area in a way that it won't that i won't add too much before i even add the entrance area so it won't look like too much because already with the level of art details that i have in the park you know there's no reason for me to add you know way too much now because you already have so much to look at 
So currently we are finishing the ramp. Finally, we have finished the ramp. Uh, as you can see, there's a little hole, a uh, little entrance the area for that that goes right into the actual entrance area. Um, and I'm working on the side uh, of the area right now. Uh, it will be literal foliage, like everywhere. I want it to be kind of a nature park, but not a nature park. Not in a nature park as in, as in like an alpine park or something like that, you know. There will just be more foliage, you know. It will be more, it will feel more alive and organic. Um, me and Michael started a park uh, a, a long time ago. Uh, it was a Islands of Adventure inspired park. And the entrance has trees everywhere and it, it's foliage everywhere. There's a river that runs through it. It's so pretty. And we never touched it a uh, little afterwards. So how can I explain this? We technically, okay, so what did we, so what we did is we built the entrance, uh, built the ticket boots, and we started on Hulk. So Hulk was massive. And then I started building this custom Velocicoaster and it was built inside of a mountain and in, in, in like it in literally inside of a mountain like it was enclosed like the mountain surrounded the ride and like the the final like the second launch i went through the mountain like went through this one of the sides of the mountain and came out and it was over the water it was a mess it was <laughs> it was a mess and so we deleted literally hulk and the velocicoaster and the mountain and everything else and literally the only thing that's left is the literal uh the entrance area and we deleted part of the entrance area but the way it looks now is literally how I want it to look in this park, like foliage and trees and stuff. Like I really want trees. Such a experience story for me to tell, just to say that I want trees. But you know, I digress. <laughs> um, basically, uh, we are we're not near the end of the video, but we have a, a little little less time now. Um, so I want to go over. Um, my ideas for, or the reasoning for the star, um, well, not the star, we'll come back to that in a second. Um, basically I literally want this part to kind of be sentimental to where it's emotional. Um, I want you to feel an emotional reaction when you get into this park. I want to kind of recreate that inside of the game. Uh, it will, of course, it will be different from real life, but in my first Disney World trip, I literally cried when I saw Cinderella's Castle, and I want you to feel that when you get inside of the park. Like, once you enter those gates, I want you to be like, wow, like, I'm actually here. Like, this is beautiful. Like, this is insane, and it just gives you this rush of emotion, and I want that to be incorporated into this park. I want you to feel like, oh, my God, like, this is, this is literally amazing, like, I don't know how to explain it. It's just a feeling that you get. And you can recreate that feeling inside of the game. You just have to play your cards right. So that's what I'm hoping to achieve here. So um, basically, um, the color scheme. Oh, my. So let me sit down in my chair. Basically, the theme or not the theme, the color theme is what you see in the overlay it's kind of like a iridescent not an iridescent but kind of like a orange with a blue with a pink with a well not no pink i'm sorry it's kind of like a orange kind of color with a kind of purple kind of color with a kind of lighter purple kind of color with a bluish greenish kind of color with blue it's it's it sounds like a lot of colors but i promise you it's not you will see those colors a lot in the entrance area and in the hub area. Um, I knew that going into the entrance area uh, with the with the logo, I wanted to kind of be be like um, similar, not similar, hold the same atmospheric color theme, if that makes sense. So yeah, that's kind of what I wanted that to be. So you will see that throughout the hub area and the entrance area. So. Right now, it looks like a bunch of rainbow colors, and it's just all over the place. And I cannot, I cannot hide the fact that it does not look too good right now. Now, what I will say that is colored is the dirt, like the grass dirt, the trees, and the foliage. The foliage as in like the, 
the the, the, the grass, the colored grass. You know what I mean. Uh, that is uh, colored. Now, um, also the foliage in the circle area, the those little grass circle things, those are also colored. Um, so, yeah. So, when I mentioned earlier about how the monorail will be uh, its own kind of experience, um, and I didn't want you to see it from the uh, from the entrance area, I also don't want you to see all the entrance area from the monorail. Like, if that makes sense. Like, what what what's available to it is what's available to it. But once you get out of that little area of what the monorail is in, then it's you know different. Then then you're in back back in the experience. So. It's more like, it's like a tour, but it also is like an experience of its own. Kind of like the people mover in a way. But uh, this is more of a enclosed uh, area. The people mover is like open air, but this one is inside because it's, it's a monorail, obviously. Um, so that's how I wanted that to be. So currently we are making the logo area for the people who uh, you know, want to know where they're actually going. Like, where is this ramp uh, taking me to? And it's there for a little bit more direction. But this, like I said previously, it's taking you to back to like, well, not back. It's taking you to the entrance area where the, like the arches will be, or just the entrance facade. Uh, that's where that will be. Uh, I put a little arrow there, even though it's useless because the only way to, to like, it's clear that there's walls directing you. But you know, it's that extra detail that matters, you know? Um, I really don't know how to make arrows in this game, so don't judge my arrow that I'm about to make. Um, I did the best that I could, that I thought I could. I really, I don't really, I really do not know how to make arrows in this game, but here I am, you know, yay. <laughs> but that's what we have. Uh, so, yeah. So, uh, let's transition to talk about the star statue. Um, in just a second. Uh, the, tr the 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 stinger transition will you know activate, and we will transition to the star statue. Here we are. Um, <laughs> well, this star statue is the uh, icon of the park. This is what you see throughout the entire park. You can see in the left corner uh, the video going to the on the side or whatever. You know what I mean. So basically, this is how can I say? Um, the icon of the park. This statue is everywhere. Uh, it's in the center of the globe. It's at the in, It's at the entrance of the um, like uh, of the pathway. Like when you get to the actual entrance, it's right there on the ground. Uh, there's little ones on the side of the wall where the stairs are. Um, and then there's this one right here. Now, uh, I know how I said I wanted to do uh, realism, but um. I didn't want it to look stupid, so basically I added poles so it can so it because obviously things can't float. Uh, but those outer little little triangles, the the bigger ones that are on the edges, uh, those are gonna be floating uh, for today um, because it looks weird when it's when like there's poles connected to it. I don't know why, but it looks really weird. I didn't like it, um, so you know I d deleted those. So I may add them. I may not add them back but I just wanted to let you all know that that's how that was supposed to be well we are nearing the end of the episode it's the end of the episode so I hope you enjoyed the episode today I uh, hope you're ready for episode 4 and this is Legendario see you later